arm lovingly around me, Robbie Bear, or are nice. you just resting your hand on my chair back? I needed some. I want to know support. As my name is Matthew Swanson, I am an author. As um, we were preparing to begin this show, Robbie said, "Are you ready?" And I mean, that's a good question. Are you ever really ready? How do you know if you're ready? What does it mean to be ready? We are never ready. Well, we are or never. Or are we always ready? Or are we always ready? That's, In that case, ready doesn't mean anything. That's not true. Hmm. That's not true. If you are about to go jump out of an airplane, mm-hmm. you haven't put on your air, your parachute yet, mm-hmm. you're not ready to jump out. So I would say that there are certain times when you're not ready. You could be totally ready to jump out. Mm, but you're not prepared. Exactly. All right. So, so prepared and ready. So just by showing up here at 159. Yes, we with are ready. earnest intentions in our hearts, we're ready. We might not be prepared. We're never prepared. Yes. If you guys didn't know, I don't want to break your hearts. We have never prepared for That's not true. Robbie not sometimes true. sets I, some yes, things up. Yes, I do. I never prepare. I love you, you guys. You make the agenda. That's preparing. But I don't have time. Well, okay. I do make the agenda. And I did write you a story today. So All of this this soft muddy distinctions between ready and prepared i'm ready robbie are you ready i am ready robbie's not feeling very well today you guys let's be gentle with I'm robbie just a little tired if you think that robbie could ha- need some love you're right <laughs> and you could give her some love and um i'm gonna personally i'm gonna take it easy on robbie today i'm gonna Thanks, try man. to do more things thanks Robbie, if you stop talking for long stretches if of the I just program, fall asleep? I will just keep going and no one will like it as much, but mm. they will understand mm. that you Everyone need. Everyone might be happier. Miss Moxie like Matthew's hands gestures. She's watching. That is my cat friend. Thank you, Amy Schaefer, for letting me know what Miss Moxie is up to. I'm glad she's at your house and not my house. Because although I understand and recognize the importance of cats to others, they do not occupy the same space in my heart. R and M story, story hour. hour. Im- Introducing what the week of adorable animals. I forgot to change the header. I'm uh, not ready. Yeah, Should yeah, we yeah. cancel the show? I'm not ready. <laughs> um, May nineteenth. That's correct. Is this the right? Okay, good. All right. Spooner is a morning. You know what, Robbie? I chose a bad day for you not to be tip top because the agenda today is going oh, to present no. certain challenges. For example, hey, hello. Hey, hello, uh, Robbie. Hey, hello. 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 That means say hello. Spoonerism is when you switch. The first sound of two consecutive words. So instead of say Say hello, hello. it's say hello. Hey, hello. You just you just spoonerized. Guys, you just unspoonerized Ah! the spoonerism. All right, here we go. Wink, drotter. Wink. We're gonna wink some drotter together, you guys. Let's wink wink. some drotter. Here's my drotter. How's your drotter? Are you gonna wink it? Dackety Jansen. I hope you guys um. Dackety. Oh, but Dackety Jansen and Jackety Dancing are already spoonerisms yes. of one another. We already spoonerized those, so we can't mess it up. Chin chin, you can't spoonerize. No. Um, oh, so we can't There's do it. There's no All other right. two words. Here word. we go. Here we go. Drink, drink. Wink drotter. Wink drotter. Here we go. Here's Done. The, the easiest way to tell Matthew is very tired <gasps> is that he spoonerizes. But I do it, I do you it must not be tired because you are having trouble spoonerizing. I am with tired, actual spoonerism. which means I do the opposite of what I'm supposed to Exactly. I'm, okay. I'm, unspo- I'm spoonerizing the spoonerisms, which is the same thing as spoonerizing unspoonerisms. Do you see what I'm saying? It's the same inversion. My brain will not grasp the words in a righteous and forthright way. It. Um, all right. So we... Hey, so do, all right. Um, hmm, good point, Shanks. Seam thong. Wait, you spelled drotter wrong. It uh, should be drotter, not like daughter drotter. I spelled it the way I wanted you to say it. When you spoonerize, you get to spell the words however you want to. That is false. The spoonerism is an auditory phenomenon. So when you write it, you have discretion to write it how you want to. I'm creating new words. Back down. No, I don't want to hear this no, objection. I object. That is totally... You just made those rules up. I did. And I'm allowed to make rules if up. If you are writing a spoonerism... You need to know what word it is. You're not, not spoonerizing no. daughter. I'm You're trying not to, water. I'm trying not to give you clues. I'm trying to make it a little more challenging by oh. making it an auditory phenomenon. This is okay? a specialty yeah. spelling for Matthew Robbie, to preserve the you mystery. You claimed that you were not feeling well and that you were going to take <laughs> take a step back today. Your your legendary churlishness seems to be mm. absolutely unfettered. All right. Seam thong. Seam Seam thong. thong. Seam thong. All right, all okay. right. Let's do <clears throat> the seam thong. Which seam thong? Let's seam, let's do the Robbie and Matthew, the, 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 the Mobby and Rathew he, the seam thong. Let's do the it. Robbie and Matthew, the Robbie and Matthew 
when they start playing that in New York clubs, that's how it's going to go. Robert, you Matthew show. People will be going like this and dancing to our theme song. I just got so tired. Oh, so are you done? Are you going to stop protesting everything I say and do? Let's see. I doubt it. What does that say? Hailer Tam report. No. Hailer Tam. Oh, yeah. Hailer Tam. I I heard it the right way. My brain spoonerized the spoonerism. so much trouble with the spoonerism. All right. Hailer Tam report. There's nothing too much to report. Jasper ate three more vigorous slices of Hailer Tam today. And so the ounces continue to creep Wayne. toward zero. Soon it will be gone, and I will I will miss it. Um, Matthew steeds his Rory while sc- sc- <laughs> Scabby wretches. <laughs> Matthew steeds his Rory while Scabby wretches. I love that. Sometimes spoonerisms too. introduce unplanned delight. Let's say it again. So Matthew, can, Matthew steeds, steeds his Rory. So steeding my Rory is reading my story yes. while scabby, scabby wretches. wretches. Well, what what's I, fun about that is to wretch is an actual thing. Which it means, means like, to throw up, yeah. I love it. I love it. I could just do that while Matthew steeds his Rory. Before I steed my Rory, I have a point of clarification to make oh. and an apology. Yes, thank this you. This little friend who I thought was Megan is not actually not Megan. Megan. You guys, this is Megan. I got confused. They're both so cute, and they're both so pink. My children gave Megan to me at the same time that they gave Buttons to Robbie. So Buttons, buttons can become, now can be button buttons. can sit atop your shoulder. Thank you. And Megan can sit atop mine. Look at Megan's cute little giraffe antlers, you guys. Isn't she adorable? Let's review the things that make her adorable. Big eyes. Yes. Cute little giraffe antlers, and... Ah, oh, smells like buttercups. Oh. That is, these are all things that make you adorable. Mm. All right, anybody want to, anyone want to challenge the abiding adorableness of Megan? Now, I don't think so. Now, what I want to know is, I, I don't want to make it a competition, but do we have any opinions about whether Megan or Buttons are more adorable? No, you, you guys, can't, no. Uh, no, no, I want you guys. Adorable is just a general. No, 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 wait in. Look, look, it looks like she's looking at you. She's like, oh, you guys, I'm the most adorable, Buttons, right? Buttons is a little tired. But Buttons seems a little Buttons. bit to be taking after Robbie today. Anyway, we are, we are, uh, anyway. And me, Megan, you guys, look at her. She just sits in my hand. She just sits in my palm. She's so good. She's so good. She doesn't need a litter box. I do love her very much. I am going to steed my Rory, and Scobby's going to retch, okay? <laughs> so let's go. You guys, I have to apologize. This story took a dark turn. <laughs> I don't no. seem to be able to just write a nice, lighthearted mm. story. When you guys set me down the road with such um, challenging prompts, all right? I did try to use your prompts as a challenge. I don't know what happened. El pu- oh, El Puppy made her suggestion in the second show. Yes. No, everybody did. I couldn't find El Puppy's suggestion. Oh. So I couldn't. I looked three times. It was about a slime ball. I know. I couldn't find it. I found the initial yeah. thing about slime ball, but I couldn't find that more developed oh set gosh. of thoughts. Oh my gosh, how are you people ball. saying that Megan is cuter? Thank you. Thank you. Every, everybody thinks so. Everybody. No, okay, it's M-E-G-A-N. There's no H in it. There's no room for an H in Megan. I'm sorry. If you're a Megan with an H, go get that fixed. All right, are we ready? Here comes the Wait. story. What? I need my pen, oh, which the, I the, removed from here. You told me to Jasper. take it away from Jasper. Um, so, Robbie, are you going to listen to the story first and then decide what to sketch? Are you going to just start sketching? What's the story? start sketching. I think you sometimes have trouble listening while you're sketching. I do. So should you just listen to it once through? Okay, and I'll then... listen to it once through. All right, I'll try to read it fast. It's not short. I mean, sometimes it takes then a while. Then I'm going to start drawing. Okay. Um, it, the, the story is called The Scourge of Subjectivity. Oh. All right? Scourge is a really bad thing. It's like a plague. It's like... Uh, what is a scourge, Robbie? How can you describe it, what a scourge is? It is just like a plague, isn't it? It's like a plague, but, it, but it doesn't it have to be an actual illness. <laughs> it can be like a bad thing happening. Megan, I think you want to distinguish yourself from Matthew's Megan, and it's good that you have an H because when people Megan, are talking about Megan, you can go to the state house and they can get that H out of there how for you. Pink they and can, adorable they can take you a are. chisel and be like, chicka, 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 and they'll they can... know which Megan we're talking about. All right, Robbie. Yes. Subjectivity. As opposed to objectivity. Objectivity is about fact. Mm-hmm. Subjectivity is about opinion. Okay? So this is like the the illness of opinion. All right? That's another way of saying the scourge of subjectivity. The bad thing about opinions. All right. There once was a koala named Lulu. A koala. And, and a slime ball named Mittens. You know what I have to do? I have to get Robbie a picture of a koala. Hold on just a second. I feel right? like they have... 
Koalas have big noses like that and then fluffy ears. All right, Robbie, I'm going to put this koala. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so adorable. They give Mittens a run for her money. Can you see? I mean, not Mittens. Megan. Oh wait, my wait, golly. Wait, wait, wait. They're wait. so cute. All right. Go back. Try it again. Okay. Look, you guys. That's so cute. That's just indescribably adorable. But it's really hard to see. You guys know what a koala looks like. Yeah, Robbie, what if I put that right there? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So Robbie has a source image that she can look at. All right. Ooh, wait a minute. What? what is happening with its toes? I think it's sticking out. Well, its toes are Hold on. a little creepy. Hold on. All right. You guys. All right. Somebody tell me about koala toes. <laughs> What's wrong? What's it doing <laughs> with these er, these toes? It's spreading them. It has like... It's like, hey, dude. It has three on one side. It has two thumbs. Yeah. What's happening? I don't know. Do koalas have two thumbs? I don't know. I don't know. Robbie, i got to read my story if we're going to get through this. I understand your perplexity Please and baffle. somebody me. look that up. Somebody make that part of your research this week. Ko just, oh, you lost your koala. Oh. Did you want that one? Or yes, do you want the other one? Yes, with okay. the two thumbs. It's freaky. All right. There once was a koala named okay. Lulu and a slime ball named Mittens. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. There's Lulu. Okay. And a slime ball named Mittens. They were the best of friends. Both of them had enormous eyes. Both of them smelled like buttercups. Both of them oh. were entirely adorable. Sorry, Robbie. You know, I, I actually described something. Robbie is not used to me describing. Oh my not. gosh, that is the creepiest looking. You said wow. they both had enormous did, eyes. That's, your, right. that's on right. you. Fair enough, fair enough. Both of them were entirely adorable. Or so they thought. The truth is, while 99 out of 100 dentists agreed that Lulu was adorable, 47 out of 48 tugboat operators thought Mittens was creepy and even upsetting. One day, Lulu and Mittens were having a cheerful picnic in the park when a tugboat operator named Damon told Mittens she should go hide in the woods till Halloween came. It hurt her heart. That's so mean, said Lulu. Damon offered Lulu the starring role on a popular TV show. He was also a Hollywood producer. Lulu could not resist. Yes, said Lulu. Where do I sign? Where is my trailer? Will there be cold cuts? Lulu was whisked away in a really long limousine, and Mittens crept away to the woods to hide. It was a dark moment for both of them. There was nothing adorable about it. Lulu became famous and rich, but guilt gnawed at her soul like a beaver gnaws at a willow by the water's edge. Eventually, the tree inside Lulu's heart fell over and rotted and provided fertilizer for a host of redemptive regrets. I have done wrong, said Lulu. I will use my fame and wealth to go find Mittens and throw her an enormous party. Lulu went to the woods, but the woods were dark and deep. Mittens, she cried. Mittens, please come back. I was wrong. Lulu followed the smell of buttercups, hoping to find her friend. She walked in circles all day long and then all of the next day. It turns out she was smelling her own left shoulder. <laughs> While Lulu searched and searched, Mittens put on her koala mask and starred in Lulu's show. She fooled everyone except for herself. Years passed and cultural understandings of adorableness shifted dramatically. Magazine covers started featuring photos of slime balls. One day, Mittens pulled off her mask, revealing herself in full slime ball glory. All the tugboat operators pointed and gasped. We've never seen something more adorable, they shouted. Lulu was named, excuse me, Mittens was named president of everything. She ruled with wisdom and justice. They named an airline after her. Halloween came and Lulu crept out of the woods. What she saw was shocking. All the kids were dressed up as slime balls. Lulu was perplexed. Looking for affirmation, she went to find a dentist, but all of the dentists had closed their practices and started driving tugboats. Lulu looked in the mirror. She still had enormous eyes. She still smelled like buttercups, but she no longer had a best friend. She went back to the forest to wait, for the dentist to come to their senses, for marsupial day at the middle school, for the winds of fortune to change. The end. Wow. Robbie, okay, Robbie so what do you think? What do you, well, I want to know what you think. I want, I want to know objectively uh, what you think. Uh-oh. What do you objectively think 
Is of our, the scourge. Oh, do you think our children are doing something? I think our children oh. might be doing something. You're getting Google notifications of passwords. Okay. All right. Uh, so yes. what do I need to do? Um, do we not have enough? We um, don't have enough streaming. So okay. So let me tell, tell one more some, to get off. Uh, this was, a, this was uh, let me tell you something. What? This was a good way to get out of having to give Matthew feedback on hey, his guys, very strange one story. Get off. We have too much, so you just have one stream, please. And then put the other computer in. Oh, if Mittens is supposed to be a slime ball, why isn't she a ball shape? Okay. What, I feel like that's a fair a fair argument. What, what? If Mittens is supposed to be a slime ball, yeah. then why is she uh, not a ball shape? So I will oh, fix that. I didn't want to be critical like that. I will fix that. Okay. So, Robbie, yes. tell me about my story. I want, I want feedback. You can't slip away from it that quickly. What? Your story yeah. uh, is strange. Yeah. Um, Have you, 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 you're familiar with that. You're, you're used to that by now. I am used to that. Yeah. What did you feel compelled to illustrate? Do you want me to read the story again? I'm afraid like? I need okay. you to read the story again. Okay. There once, uh, the scourge of subjectivity. There once, now can you move yourself over so both of you, you're not blocking anything. No, no, I don't be, like, when I lean forward, it's just like a giant forehead. On I, I feel like That's, they need to see both of us for the moments of exchange and dynamic. I, I think this will be one of those places where you said vanity aside. And people will see the real you and the real forehead of you. All right, please proceed. Robbie, stop scowling, start drawing, and show show us both on the screen. There once was a koala named Lulu, and a slime ball named Mittens, and a scowling robbler named Robbie. They were the best of friends. All right. Both of them had enormous eyes. Both of them liked buttercups. Both of them were entirely adorable. It's a pretty adorable slime ball, I gotta say. Or so they thought. The truth is, while 99 out of 100 dentists agreed that Lulu was adorable, 48 out of 47, excuse me, 47 out of 48 um, tugboat operators tugboat thought, operators. thought that, that Mittens was creepy and even upsetting. One 48 day, out of how many? 48 out of 47 tugboat operators thought Mittens was creepy and even upsetting. One day, Lulu and Mittens were having a cheerful picnic in the park when a tugboat operator named Damon told Mittens that she should go hide in the woods until Halloween came. Ooh, that's not very nice. It hurt her heart. That's so mean, said Lulu. Damon offered Lulu the starring role on a popular TV show. He was also a Hollywood producer. Lulu could not resist. Yes, said Lulu. Where do I sign? Where is my trailer? Will there be cold cuts? Lulu was whisked away in a really long limousine, and Mittens crept away to the woods to hide. It was a dark moment for both of them. There was nothing adorable about it. Okay, hold on. Okay. So we've got Lulu going off to Hollywood. Yeah, okay. This is Damon. Yeah. The, the tugboat captain slash Hollywood producer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And he says, we're going to make a deal. Right? Yeah. To Lulu. Because Lulu is cute. Oh, I can't find Lulu. There we go. There she is. Yeah. Uh, She's going to uh, be in movies, Robbie. No, TV. 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 Yeah. Okay. Lulu became famous and rich, but guilt gnawed at her soul like a beaver gnaws at a willow by the water's edge. Eventually, the tree inside Lulu's heart fell over and rotted and provided fertilizer for a host of redemptive regrets. That was an elaborate metaphor, you that guys. That was. That was yeah. too complicated of a metaphor. So well, you're to, saying that? Yeah. So so the tree fell over. The like the the the, the guilt is well, the, the tree, guilt? and it falls over and it rots. And when things rot, they provide nutrients for new things to grow. So in the wake of the guilt, the redemptive regret creeps up. Redemptive means it fixes something. It it, it it gives you a second chance to prove yourself. So she has redemptive regrets, meaning the feelings of guilt in her heart are the thing that allow her to reinvent herself as a better friend thereafter. Does that help you understand, Robbie? I guess so. I, right. I'm not understanding the metaphor, I think, in part because if a tree drawing falls, while you to it, well, yeah. if a tree falls, that's mm -hmm. bad news, right? Well, it's bad news, except the organic material in the tree trunk provides sustenance for new growth. It's the right. circle of life, Robbie. All right. If you've never seen The Lion King, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a pivotal metaphor for that. Uh, well. Somehow Damon turned into not just a tugboat captain, but like a Civil War. He was also a Hollywood producer. I like him. I like him. You know, maybe he's a reenactor also. Maybe he is a tugboat operator that is on set for a movie that he's also, maybe he's also an actor. 
Let's just let Damon be whatever Damon wants to be, okay? All right. I have done wrong, said Lulu. I will use my fame and wealth to find Mittens and throw her an enormous party. Lulu went to the woods, but the woods were dark and deep. Mittens, she called. Mittens, please come back. I was wrong. Lulu followed the smell of buttercups, hoping to find her friend. She walked in circles all day long and all the next day, too. It turns out she was smelling her own left shoulder. She thought she was smelling the smell of buttercups from Mittens, but she was smelling her own buttercup smell. That's the problem of being adorable together is you both smell the same way. Just like Megan and Buttons both smell adorable. Right, Robbie? You can't tell them apart unless you're looking at them. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Robbie is very um, focusy right oh, now. Concentrating. Smell lines. Yeah. I should do smell lines with buttercups coming off of oh, Mittens and Lulu. I like that. Good yes. suggestion. So I'm going to have Lulu walking through the forest. Okay. Okay, and she's going to have uh, some smell lines. She's looking for... For, for buttons. She's for looking mittens. for mittens. Yeah. Mittens and buttons are a little bit too similar. They're getting mixed up in my head. While Lulu screeched, oh, searched and searched, Mittens put on her koala mask and starred in Lulu's show. She fooled everyone except for herself. Years passed, and cultural understandings of adorableness shifted dramatically. You guys, this is an important part in the story. <laughs> the fact is, what is considered beautiful changes over time. People have very different ideas of what type of body is beautiful in ancient Roman times than they think today. So anyway, if you wait long enough, <laughs> the thing that you are will be considered beautiful at some point, even if you're a slime ball. That's my point here. Magazine covers started featuring photos of slime balls. One day, Mitten pulled off her mask, revealing herself in full slime ball glory. She's finally able to be herself and feel beautiful. Lulu was named president of everything. She ruled with wisdom and justice. They named an airline after her. Can you think of a higher honor than that, Robbie? Can you? No. Uh, no. Halloween came and Lulu crept out of the woods. What she saw was shocking. All the kids were dressed up as slime balls. Can you imagine being a koala and considered the pinnacle of adorableness? And then you go into the woods and when you come out, nobody thinks you're adorable anymore because everybody thinks that the opposite of adorable, that's, that's what happens to Lulu. Do you feel the wrenching pain of it, Robbie? I do, I do. Okay. But I'm so glad that they still both smell like buttercups. No, absolutely they do. The smell is just sort of an intrinsic thing. I, I was trying to think what would um what would what would it what would make Lulu look like she was a successful Hollywood actress? Probably like a fancy sunglasses. Dress. Sunglasses. sunglasses. Yep, I think so. Sunglasses and um, a dozen me people with cameras chasing her. Can you draw a dozen people with cameras chasing her? Or maybe just one? The paparazzi or oh I like that. I like that very much. All right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Lulu was perplexed. Looking for affirmation, she went to find a dentist. But all the dentists has changed to close their practices and started driving tugboats. This is a joke I'm making based on the opinion that you have of beauty trends somehow aligning with your profession, which it does not have to. Lulu looked in the mirror. She still had enormous eyes. She still smelled like buttercups. But she no longer had a best friend because she betrayed her friend and went off to start a TV the, show. Is that the end of the story? No. Oh, okay. She went back to the forest to wait. A big bow. For the That's dentists a good idea. to come to their senses. For marsupial day at the middle school. For the winds of fortune to change. That is the end of the story, Robbie. Oh. I can't say that it's a better ending than the last paragraph was. Endings are hard. I didn't really have time to pull out a good ending. You know, I hope you understand. Um, I don't know, guys. What did you think? Did, did the story cause feelings of... Uh, inside you, questions? Did it help you change your understanding of the world and its inhabitants? Does it make you think any more highly of slime balls than you did before? Are you still a fan of koalas? I want to know. I mean, the slime ball, no offense, yeah. acted a bit like a slime ball. How so? By pretending to be Lulu and taking her job. Do we feel any differently about that, given that Lulu had betrayed her in the first place? Is it is it okay to be slimy, so to speak, oh, I, when someone has been slimy I, to you first? I guess I missed the the total betrayal. I thought Damon that... was totally mean to her friend, mm -hmm. and Damon's like, "Yeah, but do you want to be in my TV show?" And she was like, "See ya, slime ball. Oh. I'm going off to Hollywood while you creep away to the woods. I'm not even going to ask you how you feel about this." So yeah, I think um, I think that I think they both got what they uh, yeah I think they both they're behaved. both slime balls. I think they're both slime balls. Hmm. That that's maybe the yeah that's possible. Well, right. that so, is a terrible story. Well, it's not. Is it a terrible story or is it a terrible moral? It's a terrible. We're dealing with terrible creatures who are not adorable. It turns out. Well, I think can we admire Lulu 
for having the redemptive moment that came in the wake of the metaphor of the rotting tree that you didn't understand in trying to go find her friend in the woods. She did try to do the right thing eventually. It's just that they were trying to do the right thing at the wrong, at the wrong time. Times. And they were star-crossed. They were both being selfish at different times, and it fractured their friendship. It's a sad story. Mm -hmm. It's probably not going to be published by a major publisher. That's my <laughs> guess, you guys. Probably if any editor is listening to the story right now, they said, Matthew, oh my goodness, that's a very challenged narrative, and it's probably not going to work in the commercial children's book market. Yes. That's probably what they're saying to themselves. Mm. Um, oh. Maris still likes koalas. Good. I'm okay. glad that you the story didn't ruin koalas for you. I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any thoughts? Anything oh. that you think Robbie should draw? Bracelets. 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 Oh, I see. We're just going all on in on that Lulu. illustration, huh? Uh, okay. So what else, though? Um, what else happened after she... So she went back... She went... Lulu went into the woods to look for... I think... No. The, mittens came out. I think the most dressed. interesting thing you haven't drawn yet mm -hmm. is the slime ball with the koala mask on. Right. Yeah. I think, I think that is the final illustration in this this long and, and really sort of tortured litany of of moments um there's nothing else on the agenda except for um gang goodbye okay when the time comes okay yeah uh so now how does it work are you going to start with the mask and then draw the slime ball around it oh i see what you did there Is it like a Phantom of the Opera mask where it just goes on half of the face? Yeah. Oh, it's I like see. This kind of mask. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So it only covers one of the slime ball's eyes. Yes. Or why? Why is she wearing it on the side of her head? Well, because her other of, eye is right. over here. She's peeking out. I see. Okay. Fine. Because her eyes are wider set than Koala's eyes, so she couldn't put it over her actual eyes. Is that the? Fine. No, no, no. I'm just asking a question. That that works better. Is for that me. better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I do like that we get a little bit of peek into her psyche. You could see that she's a little uncomfortable with this. Mm -hmm. She knows that she's not doing exactly the right thing. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. The, so I've got to well, say, so the people, she becomes a movie star. The people she fooled weren't paying a lot of attention because she didn't have a body. <laughs> so it would be really unnerving if Lulu was suddenly replaced by just a koala head that was hopping around on the show. That seems to be what happened, though. What does a movie camera look like? Is it um, the thing that has the? I think that there's a way to suggest a movie ears camera. Or yeah, something? I think, and I think the the one that is most iconic has the um, sort of reel to reel on it, which isn't true anymore. So let me find one for you. Movie camera. Okay, Robbie, you have some choices here. I think that one is probably pretty good. Right? Oh. Well, that's not what I drew. Oh, what did you... Yeah, so I think that's the old school. That's more like a projector, what you drew there, or like oh. a really old school. But I think that's okay. People get it. Okay, yeah. hold on. All right. Okay, I think this so is, I have to draw This is what they look like these days. person holding, holding that, something. right? It kind of looks like a weapon, my goodness. It's, it has the, the long microphone coming off the front. Do you like this one, or do you want me to... Oh, oh does there that we help? go. That helps. Wow. It looks like a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher, you guys. Well, this is the microphone, right? Yeah, I think so. And then there's, like, the lens. There's the lens. And then there's, I guess, the, the big part in the back is where the, maybe the... It's the battery and stuff. Battery and the computer okay, so the and the hard drive. person is over here. Yeah. And they're holding it up. Oh, people are very unhappy that we're not listening. Oh, Kato. Star sunglasses, he says. Oh, okay. All right. I think we can do it. Oh, yeah, he's, he's said it many, many times. Um... And it was a good story. This was a good story, and thank you for responding to my <laughs> slime ball comment. Well, Simon, you are welcome, my friend. Sometimes it is difficult to see your comments when we are in the throes of our industry. Um, boy, this camera, you guys, costs one thousand forty-four dollars. So if you want it, you gotta really want it. Due to high demand, you may see longer shipping times than usual and limited product. Is this a time when lots of people are making movies? Do you think? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh my gosh! This oh, this one costs ninety six thousand dollars. What? Yeah, I'm gonna show it to you. Where are you? Is Look it at this. Look like at this. Actually, for sale somewhere. Yeah, this is a multi-format wow. camera system. It's on this really cool swiveling thing, you guys. Does anybody? Oh, but it it lists for ninety nine thousand dollars, so it's three thousand dollars off. That's a pretty good deal. Um, anybody need a really fancy movie camera? I can send you the link. You saved three thousand seven hundred dollars. Robbie, are you persuaded? 
We could sell I'm our house not. and buy this camera. <laughs> I don't even think we could. I don't even think our house would be no, as much as that camera. That is not true. Mm. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna go in a moment. You, oh, it's time to go. It's have, there, have, your new, Lulu have our new star. lights arrived? Amy, the new lights have not arrived. No. They actually are not ready to ship yet. I think the product is still in development. So yeah. who knows how long knows it's going to take. take? We're a little disappointed by that. All right, you guys, Robbie, real quick There's review. Lulu. Let's show everybody what you okay. got. Okay, you starting got, at the beginning, we have Lulu and Mitten's best friend. Introducing them. Actually, yeah. bing, 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 bing. All right, they love they each love other. Each they other. love, okay. Then, then along, and they smell like buttercups. And Damon, the tubboat operator slash Hollywood producer, being mean. Not cute. But instead of being a loyal friend, Lulu pens a lucrative deal with Damon mm -hmm. to become a TV star. Yes. Which forces Mittens to go into the woods by him or herself. I don't know what... what and what, be sad. Yeah. But then... Then... Lulu... Lulu becomes his movie star. Oh my gosh, people are throwing flowers at her. She has no, a bikini on. No, the flowers are what she smells like. Oh, oh right, right. She smells yes. like buttercups. She has Fair a bikini enough. on. She's got her star sunglasses on. Thank you, Kato. On, yep. And her bracelets. And then... And then... Uh, and then she has a redemptive moment yes. and goes to find her friend in the woods. But Which her friend sneaks out of the friend woods. sneaks out of the woods. And dresses up like her. Mm -hmm. There's some deep psychology happening And then there. becomes a movie star. And then we ran out of time and we couldn't illustrate anything else. But so. look how Mitten's not... Exactly. You can see the guilt in that eye. I, I do. I do. Yeah. It said, it said, you illustrated the moment she fooled everyone except for herself. Yes. She did not feel good about what she was doing. Yes. All right. We're going to go see you on the other side of things, you guys. We might review this on the other show. <laughs> if you feel like you need to see these illustrations again, they could be coming your way again mm. very soon. El Puppy mm. probably wants to see them. Yes. All right. Bye. Who lives um, in Chestertown? We live in Chestertown. We live in Chestertown, Waylon. I thought you knew that. All, All right. right. Bye. 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 What happened? Uh, What's